And welcome back everyone for your dog walking forecast. We have Pina and Willow courtesy of Diana and they're just relaxing there for tomorrow. They want to just take it outside and relax outside just because it's going to be beautiful out there. Low humidity, light winds and a good amount of that sunshine. 52 degrees at 8 a.m. So actually still a decent start with those temperatures and climbing right around 70 degrees by the afternoon. You will notice still a little more cloud cover as we get deeper into the afternoon as we'll begin to see the influence of a warm front and also the fact that we'll start seeing the first influence of that disturbance that will eventually get into your Sunday. So going into Sunday, we're actually going to keep those temperatures in those lower 70s, but we do have the chance of those thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong or severe. We're also dealing with breezy conditions for both Sunday and Monday. And then temperatures after that are going to be on a gradual decline somewhat throughout the work week. Well, we will rebound a little bit by Wednesday, 66 degrees, but look how those temperatures tumble down into the 40s by next Friday. Trey. Thank you, Ulysses. Before we go, we've got to show you what the Harvard of the Mid-Atlantic has been up to lately. Salisbury University men's and women's lacrosse in action earlier this week. On Wednesday, the fourth ranked women hosting conference rival Rowan the goals will strike first in this game. Lydia McNulty burning past the defense and getting the shot past the keeper for the game's first score. The Rowan showed some resistance early down too. Free position shot by Julia Grilicka is good to cut the goals lead to just one. But that's where SU would go on a run. Alexis Strobel around the cage, back in the defender down, firing past the keeper for the goal. She had two scores in this game. A few minutes later, McNulty again, six spin move right here, getting past the defender, goes between the keeper's legs for the score. That was a filthy goal there. Salisbury rolling past Rowan by a final of 18 to six. The men are also ranked fourth. They were taking on Susquehanna on Wednesday. Goals already up big and just pouring things on in this game. Cross Ferreira, uh, he has had an amazing year and he would score here from 10 yards out past the keeper. A few minutes later, Ferrara again in transition going under the keeper. Six goals on the day for the Apo grad. Goals up 11 at half. Second half, much of the same story. The Cambridge grad, Jared Bromwell, with the missile from outside. He had a career high six goals in the game. The Gauls roll past Susquehanna by a final of 27 to 14. So all good things happening at the Harvard of the Mid-Atlantic. That is going to do it for our show tonight. But as always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you miss anything, and I mean anything, that will be on our website. That, of course, is 47abc.com. For the crew behind the scenes, I'm Trayvon Miles. Good night. We'll see you right here next week.